The eruption of Mount St. Helens on May 18, 1980, was one of the most dramatic geologic moments in American history. Friday, the 13th. We are awed, and rightly so, by the forces of destruction that loose in the world in this nuclear era. John Lennon, singer, songwriter, leader of a musical group that led a generation. Earlier this week, he was killed. Today, New York and the world mourn. Dallas fans waited and debated over which of the plausible suspects had pulled the trigger. Pick a number. From any number of bamboozled oil barons, get you for this if it's the last thing I do. To JR's neglected, long-suffering wife, Sue Ellen. Tell me, JR, which slut are you going to stay with tonight? He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. No. No. It's not true. I was that we may kill you. Me? Kill me? Start here, kill me for do me a fucking favor, because you're driving me crazy. You're a killer, you're a big shot. Just kill, you're a killer. Excuse me, what do you mean by you, though? President Carter won a major victory today in his bid to boycott the Moscow Olympic Games because of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Another one bites the dust. Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're gonna look at game number 15 in our 20 from 1980 series. This game is super hard. It was uh, released by Tim Skelly, the late Tim Skelly, and Cinematronics in 1980. It's a very tough uh, game with a bullseye looking color overlay, and this is called Star Castle. Boy, this game's hard. You fly a spaceship uh, through this uh, fixed screen, although you can warp through uh, any edge and reappear at the other side. But there is a bullseye type of overlay at the center, and that is where the enemy is. And it is a spaceship surrounded by three protective rings, and you need to shoot away the rings and get to the ship in the center to advance to the next stage. And every time that you destroy him, you get an extra life, which sounds great, but the game is still really hard. There are three stars that are on the rings, and they will fly off and attack you. You get zero points for shooting them. And uh, the further you get in the game, the faster and more tenacious they get. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Now, I gotta apologize in advance. There are parts where the game or the video kind of skips a little bit. Uh, I had to open this uh, or uh, run this in a uh, screen, uh, video screen, and capture it through Bandicam, and for some reason it, it froze at times. I don't know why that happened, but uh, I. I edited it a bit so that it, so that uh, it, I tried to eliminate the the freezing. It still looks crappy at times, so I apologize. Now the uh, enemy ship in the center is not without its uh, defenses. If you eliminate that uh, at least a little bit of that center ring, he will take a shot at you, and his uh, his firepower is big and fast. Now something that you can try that can give you a little bit of success is use those warp edges to your advantage. Generally left to right or north and south. But fly through and blast a chunk of a wall and then fly through the other side and try it again. But you need to learn timing. You have to time it just right 
so that uh, when you fly through to the other side, you won't shoot that same wall that you already blasted a hold of, out of. Because if you destroy a full wall, it will regenerate. And there goes all your hard work. <laughs> so yeah, try that and see, uh, see how well it works for you. Use those warp edges and learn timing. Timing is the really hard part. <laughs> Time it so that you don't shoot that same ring that you already shot a piece out of. Try to get the more inner rings. And uh, yeah, the further you get in the game, those stars will get faster. And if they're on your tail and you go through the uh, warp edge, they might be able to follow you. But yeah, you get an extra life each time that you destroy that that spaceship or cannon in the middle. And you'll get bonus points for the uh, rings that were remaining. Yeah, there you saw a little bit of uh, uh, freeze that uh, I was I was not able to uh, completely get rid of. I don't know why that happened. I apologize, but that was really annoying. But yeah, try this. North or south or east or west. Just try to go back and forth, go through the warp uh, edges, and just keep shooting until you're able to get to the cannon in the middle. But try not to uh, destroy a whole ring. That'll undo your hard work. And again, uh, those uh, stars are worth no points. They just serve to harass you. If you can generally avoid them by using the warp edges, do so, but Boy, do they get fast later on in the game. This game was so frickin' hard at the time. Ah, God damn it! <laughs> um, yeah, I remember seeing this first, I think, in an arcade... Ah, God. Called Electric Palace. It was at uh, uh, a mall within my miles of where I currently live. I had some good arcade games in that one. I don't think there were any special deals for tokens. I think you just got four for a dollar. Uh, yeah, I apologize uh, for the kind of glitchiness. That doesn't normally happen. But uh, you generally get the gist of the gameplay here. But yeah, this game was just too hard for me. I remember seeing this at a number of other arcade places, but I think Electric Palace was the first place that I saw it at. But this was created by Tim Skelly and Cinematronics. I don't know the exact point value for each ring, but, uh, God. You'll get a notice saying last ship if it's your last ship. <laughs> But uh, you'll get a bonus for all the uh, rings that were remaining when you destroyed the uh, ship in the center, or the cannon in the center. But that's Star Castle, really hard game, by Tim Skelly and Cinematronics in 1980. This made a, a brief appearance in the film Ghostbusters. The uh, Ghostbusters had it in their uh, uh, headquarters. I think they had a couple other arcade machines, maybe. That's uh, game number 15 in R20 from 1980 series. And uh, I'm going to try to continue to upload videos in this series, uh, but I'm having renters come in, so that might that might take up some of my time. But I'll uh, try, to, try to continue putting out the videos. But uh, that was Star Castle. Created by Tim Skelly, the late Tim Skelly, who passed away recently, unfortunately, and Cinematronics in 1980. This is Crazy Climb Radies, and thank you for watching Star Castle, uh, game number 15. Hope to see you soon with game number 14 in our 20 from 1980 series. Y'all have a good one. Stay cool, and I will see you later. Have a good one, everybody. Bye bye.